Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you all have an awesome day today. I just got off work and uh, found out I have a major problem with Jesse. Um, he got out of his pen and this just happened today while I've been at work. And uh, what he did, he's got out of his pen and has got over here with the sheep. And I'm going to show you what happened. I've seen it from the road. Um, if you guys... If you guys seen some of my other videos, I have a makeshift feeder uh, for the sheep. I got big squares cut out for the sheep's uh, to get in there um, through this uh, cattle panel. Well, let me show you what Jesse's done. I don't know. This, this is a mess. What's up, ladies? And here's the thing. This is how he got out of his pen. This is his area. And this is the sheep area over here. And uh, this is the hot wire that keeps them separated. Well, the hot wire is right here. The hot wire... The hot wire's been off for like two, three weeks. Um, they haven't, they haven't found out. The sheep have not caught on yet. But obviously, Jesse found out today that it's off, and he jumped over it or something. I got to figure out what's going on. I have to hook it back up. <sighs> but he has got himself in a mess over here, and I don't know if I'm able. Uh, we'll see. Let's see if I can get uh, get it undone. He's got his head stuck in uh, in that makeshift feeder. Jesse. What the crap, Jesse? That is not good, buddy. My gosh, Jesse. You okay, buddy? Poor guy. Let's see. I don't think there's any he ain't hurting nothing. You okay, buddy? Jeez. Man, that was a close one. Uh, I never would have thought he would try to come over and get his head stuck in this thing. My gosh, it looks like he actually had it. Looks like he had it in there <laughs> in another spot too. He got out of it. Wow. You can see that's where he had it stuck at. Well, no, he just had it right there. You can see I cut, this is fine for these uh, sheep that I got, but not for a 700 pound steer. Dang it. So I'm not going to put this back on there. I'm not going to, I'm not going to put this feeder back on there until we get until I get the hot wire hooked back up. And uh, so that's gonna be fine. Um, they probably need to get a new bell out here anyways. But now I gotta figure out how to get Jesse back on his side and hopefully he doesn't come back over here. Um, these, these sheep are wanting some feed too. Um, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna get some uh, feed and come back and see if I can get him to follow me through this gate. Um, if not, I got a little corral over here. I'll try to get him through. Dang it, Jesse, <laughs> that's a close one, guys. Real close, that would have been terrible. If I'd have been gone for the weekend, he got stuck like that. That ain't good. You thirsty, buddy? Poor guy's thirsty. Yeah, Jesse. He's thirsty. I don't blame him. I'm going to go get him some feed. Hopefully them sheep, as long as them sheep won't come back over this hot wire. That's the problem I have with I don't mind Jesse running with the sheep. But if I'm trying to feed Jesse out. He's a steer. Feeding him out. So you can, And these sheep go absolutely crazy 
over the grain that I give them. And I give them, so I've been giving them a little more grain since it's been colder weather. But I gotta give Jesse a lot of grain. So I can't just give him a bunch of grain and then the sheep come over there and fight him for it. Kind of defeats the purpose. I don't want to put, give too much grain to the sheep because I don't want them getting real big. And also, um, Jesse needs all the, all the grain more than the sheep because we're trying to gain weight for Jesse. So let's get over here. And usually Steve, the ram, is the ringleader of the bunch. And he usually figures out the hot wire is turned off. And uh, then once he goes, they all go. Jesse figured it out first. That's the first time Jesse's ever even tempted. Uh, I guess he's wanting to hang out the sheep a little closer. I don't know. But let's get some feed and see if we can get him over here. Yeah, I came driving up. I'm like, what happened to my feeder? Because I seen it from the road. The sheep were all on it, and the bell was turned over on its side. And I was just, I was like, where'd the feeder go? So when I look, I see Jesse's on that side. I'm like, what the crap are you doing, Jesse? Well, then I see Jesse's got his whole head hung up in my feeder. That ain't good at all. Man, I'm glad we got him out of there, and he ain't hurt or nothing. That's a good deal. Now let's just see if we can get him back over on his own side where he's got his own bell of hay right there and his own big feeder full of feed. So I don't know what he was doing. Come on, Jess. Come on. Where you at, Jesse? I'm probably going to get ran over here. Quit. Look, Steve's are, Look, Steve. Look at Steve. You better knock it off. Uh, oh, he's getting me. Knock it off, Steve. Okay. Well, as you can see, I got every animal on my place following me for this feed. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to try to get him in this corral and, and go from there. Sheep's in here, Jesse's over there. Uh, it's getting dark too. All right, let's see if we can lure him in there. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, here he comes. Crap, he might just come this way. Come on, Jesse. Come on, come on. Come on, Jesse. Come on, Jesse. Here come the sheep. Alright. Whenever there's feed involved, these sheep act like they per, they're possessed. Come on, Jesse. Steve? Knock it off. Steve's going nuts on me. Where's he at? You usually, you usually don't turn your back to the ram, but he's, he's pretty tame for the most part. Until you get this crack on him. But Jesse's coming over here now, so that's all we need.
I know this ain't the best setup, but it works uh, for what I got right now. And eventually I'll have a really good setup for all this. But right now, this is what we got. And Jesse is free again. Well, maybe not free, but let's see here. Now he can go eat. Come on, Jess. I trust old Jess for the most part, but whenever there's feed involved in an animal, you gotta watch out. So here he comes. Come on. He can come up here and we'll give him this feed. He knows the drill now. So yeah, we got a cold front that came in and uh, he needs to get some feed in him. <laughs> He's excited. Oh, that's awesome. Man, I'm glad we got that taken care of. Jesse is safe and sound for now. And uh, no harm done. Caught it in time. Never would have thought that would have happened, guys. So... Like I said, that fence has been off for about two, three weeks now and I haven't had any issues. And then one day, Jesse jumps it or whatever he does and uh, gets over there and gets his head stuck in the feeder. <laughs> Poor guy. He's gonna be all right though, that was good. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad I got home uh, with a little bit of daylight to be able to see that. Um, I always check on the animals, but if I'm flashing the flashlight and he's close to the, the fence over here, I don't really realize he's on the other side. Uh, that could have been, been a bad deal. But I caught it in time. No harm, no harm done other than Jesse's just a little bit hungry and thirsty, but he's good now. Man, close call, Jesse. Don't be doing that anymore. Look at him just going to town on it. I don't blame him. He's probably had a long day. Man. Well, we're all good here. Animals are good. I got, I got the painters over here. They're supposed to be finishing up today, but I see a little bit that they're, they haven't got done, so I'm guessing they're going to come tomorrow and finish the outside. Um, the whole inside's done. whole inside's done. The paint looks awesome. Um, I don't have any light in there right now um, to show you everything, but as soon as I get in here, maybe tomorrow the next day, I'll give you guys a little house update. And also, if you guys are wondering about that hole out in the field, what it was, I have my, I've had the camera set up on for three days now, and uh, I'm going to check it tonight and see what it is. And if I got anything on camera, I'll show it to y'all uh, pretty soon. Um, I'm just having, I'm struggling with the time. Getting home before dark is, uh, is, is a struggle. Um, I had to come home pretty quick um, just so I can check on things, make sure the water, they got plenty of water and all that. And then Jesse did what he did. So now my plan was to show you guys an update of the house. But things changed because of Jesse. It's all Jesse's fault. So I'm going to go over here and talk to the painters and uh, just kind of look, look things over. First, I'm going to get a flashlight. Oh, man, that was crazy. I'm glad he, came. I'm glad he got out when he did. That was a little bit of a struggle. I'm trying to see if there's any deer out there. I can't see any. But I'm going to grab my flashlight. I'm going to go check on the house, check on everything, see how it looks. And uh, I got a few, I'm gonna have, like I said, I'm going to have an update for you on that. And also got a couple things I need to tell you all um, with some issues I've had with a couple things with the house. So um, we're still thinking we're going to get in within the next week, two weeks tops, uh, because everything's falling together except for one thing. And I need, I need to make a video just on it and won't tell you at the end of this one. But stay tuned. Um, like always, if you guys like this video, smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed, there's a little yellow button right over there. You can push it says subscribe and click that little bell so you get notifications too. Really do appreciate all y'all. Thank you so much for, for all the support. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.